Good morning, guys. Today we are going to study an important topic as well as an interesting topic called biomimicry. Uh, before starting to explain a few examples in biomimicry, I will introduce you with yet another example uh, that will give you a clear insight about uh, what we are going to study in this particular topic. Okay, le. Look, uh, have you ever witnessed the way how the ants walk off, walk out of their home or den, right? They always take, uh, I mean, walk out of the den means in search of the food. I mean, they typically they go out of their den only for uh, searching the food, searching the food. So two things actually, two things to be observed. One is they walk out to search the food. Next one is they return back uh, with their food, with their food to the same home. How do they do it actually? Look, they don't have the address, right? But still, I mean, they don't have the huge uh, eyes also, right? So, uh, I mean, how do they do it? Every time they go outside, they, and in England, they take a certain path of uh, walking, actually. All uh, animals are not going to be able to do it. Ants are not going to Like, they walk, you know, actually, they walk in a pattern, right? And also, while coming back, they uh, they take the same path, actually. Two things are going to be like, our uh, den to go home, they walk in a pattern, and while they are returning back, they take the same route. They want to, uh, I mean, same route to reach their home. They won't be distracted here and there. How do they do it? Uh, what they do is, while they are walking from their uh, home or den, they segregate some hormones. They call it as pheromone, actually. Uh, so, in short, what I can say is, like, while they are going out of their den, they segregate a hormone, reach their food, whatever they uh, have in their uh, in, in their hands in their eyesight they pick it and then return back but while returning back they take the same route so this is a, a big perplexing question how do they do it actually the reason is while they are walking off from their home they segregate the hormone and this hormone evaporates as the time goes by as the time goes by so very sure uh, wherever the hormone is present uh, they will be having the strongest presence of the strongest presence of the hormones so that will secretly reveal their uh, you know actually path to return back to the home actually so that's how they do it so this uh, hormone while they are segregating while in search of the food will provide the path for the return so they they i mean the ant can sense the strongest presence of their hormone which they have segregated because they walk in groups alike. so my question is as an engineer can i mimic it mimic means money money mimicry Bayangra or uh, like uh, what to say he is the king of uh, the mimicry uh, he was the king of the mimicry so uh, uh, like a Korea mimicry artist of Kandatunda our young age another Matavarda a pat and a character to our Manaslaki other ball our like a mimic each other other ball our present they will be modulating their voices to suit uh, the I, I, I mean actually any famous actress or uh, actors or any personalities right so my question is can i mimic this ant pattern to identify best solution out of many solutions in engineering applications Okay, like for Manaslai Kanam. So, biomimicry na parayana thi idhan. So, how do I mimic the ant walking pattern so that I can apply for an engineering application? 
അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു ചോദ്യം വരും ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ ഒരു ഡൌട്ട് വരും വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദിസ് സാർ ലൈക്ക് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എവിടെയാണ് ഈ ആൻഡ് വാക്കിങ്ങിന്റെ പ്രൊസീജിയർ നമ്മൾ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അതിനൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ആക്ച്വലി സംശയങ്ങൾ വരും ഇപ്പോൾ ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ഒരു പ്രൊസീജിയർ ഉണ്ട് അതിപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുള്ള പക്ഷെ ആസ് യു ഗോ ഓൺ ആസ് യു ലൈക്ക് മേ ബി ലൈക്ക് സിക്സ്ത് സെമസ്റ്റർ ഓർ സെവൻത് സെമസ്റ്റർ യു വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റഡിങ് ദിസ് വൺ ആക്ച്വലി ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ലുക്ക് ഒരു എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ പറയുന്നത് ദാർ ക്യാൻ ബി ന്യൂമറസ് ദാർ ക്യാൻ ബി ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഫോർ എ ഗിവൺ പ്രോബ്ലം റൈറ്റ് സോ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഓർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഓപ്റ്റിമൽ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ടേക്സ് മീ ഓൺലി ദ ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈം മനസ്സിലായോ അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് ഒരു ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഉണ്ട് ഒരു മൈൻഡിൽ ഒരു ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഉണ്ട് ഒരു ഒരു മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ഇൻപുട്ട് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം എന്ന് വെച്ചോ ആ എം ആ മൈമോൺ പറയും ഈ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ഇൻപുട്ട് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സിസ്റ്റത്തിന് എനിക്ക് ഒരു ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് എനിക്ക് ഒരു ആവശ്യമുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ആ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഇൻഫിനിറ്റ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട്സ് ആർ പാസിബിൾ അപ്പൊ എല്ലാ ഔട്ട്പുട്ടും എനിക്ക് വേണം എന്നില്ല ഐ നീഡ് ഓൺലി ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഇത് ഇപ്പൊ മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കുറച്ച് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിലും ഇത് ഇങ്ങനെ തന്നെ ലൈക്ക് മൈൻഡിൽ കേട്ടിക്കോ പിന്നെ നാളെ മേ ബി ലൈക്ക് വിത്തിൻ വൺ ഇയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി യു ക്യാൻ ആക്ച്വലി റീകാൾ വാട്ട് ഐ എം സെയിങ് നോ റൈറ്റ് സോ വാട്ട് ഐ എം ഇൻ സെർച്ച് ഇസ് ടു ചെക്ക് ദ ആപ്റ്റിമൽ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ടേക്ക് ദ ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു സീ ദിസ് ദാറ്റ് ടേക്സ് ദ ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈമിൽ തന്നെ നമ്മളുടെ ഇതുണ്ടല്ലോ ഈ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സെർച്ചിങ് മെക്കാനിസം അത് എത്തണം ലൈക്ക് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സെർച്ചിങ് മെക്കാനിസം വിൽ ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ആർ ഓപ്റ്റിമൽ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വിത്തിൻ ഷോർട്ടസ്റ്റ് ടൈം സോ ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ദി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് എസ് ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ഓക്കെ അല്ലേ ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ആൻഡ് ഈ ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ ആൻഡിൽ ഇരുന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞോളൂ ഈ ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ പ്രൊസീജിയർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കുറേ ടൈപ്പുകളുണ്ട് ഇഷ്ടംപോലെ ടൈപ്പുകളുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ അല്ലേ ഞാനിപ്പോൾ ഒരു ആൻഡിൻ്റെ ഒരു കഥ പറഞ്ഞോളൂ ഉറുമ്പിൻ്റെ കഥ അപ്പോൾ ഈ ഉറുമ്പിനെ ഉറുമ്പിൻ്റെ ബിഹേവിയർ അനുസരിച്ച് they have prepared they have mimicked one algorithm they have prepared or they have mimicked the behavior oh my goodness they have mimicked uh, they have mimicked an algorithm scientific algorithm to find the best or optimal solution in shortest span of time that particular algorithm's name is ant optimi- ant colony ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസേഷൻ ടെക്നിക്ക് അപ്പോൾ ഇത് ജസ്റ്റ് അറിഞ്ഞിരുന്നാൽ മതി ഞാനിപ്പോൾ പറഞ്ഞതിൻ്റെ റീസൺ ദ റീസൺ വൈ ഐ ടോൾഡ് ഇസ് ഈ ബയോമിമിക്രിയുടെ വലുപ്പം അത്രയാണ് അപ്പോൾ നാച്ചുറലി അക്കറിങ് ഫിനാമണ ദാറ്റ് നാച്ചുറലി അക്കറിങ് ഫിനാമണ വി അബ്സർവ് ദ പാറ്റേൺ ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് വർക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദ യു നോ ആക്ച്വലി ആൾ ദ ന്യൂൺസൻസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ആൾ ദ ന്യൂൺസൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ നാച്ചുറലി അക്കറിങ് ഫിനാമണ വി അബ്സർവ് and we just convert that into mathematical variables right our nature nature uh, naturally occurring phenomena mathematical variables variables i to convert cheyga that use uh, i mean actually i mean naturally occurring phenomena let me write that then only you will understand naturally occurring phenomena what i did is i just converted into some mathematical variables right and then i develop an algorithm to implement the same strategy which strategy is the naturally occurring phenomenon other the same strategy i will be implementing in an algorithm that will be useful for some engineering applications right സോ ഇതിൻ്റെ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ഇതിൻ്റെ വലുപ്പം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഭയങ്കരമാണ് ആക്ച്വലി കുറേ റിസർച്ചുകൾ ഇപ്പോൾ നടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ലൈക്ക് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടെൻ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഇയേഴ്സ് യു നോ ദിസ് ഈസ് റൂളിംഗ് ദ റൂസ്റ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ഈ ബയോ മിമിക്രി ബേസ്ഡ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാർ ഇൻ ഈവൻ ഇൻ യുവർ ഹോം ആൾസോ ഈവൻ ദ സ്പോർട്സ് ഷൂ ഷൂസ് വിച്ച് യു ആർ യൂസിംഗ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഹോം right even the you know actually uh, the switch boards which you are using in the home even the design of the home itself the multi story buildings and all that right so even the design of the home itself are nature inspired or nature inspired so this particular topic is all about bio mimicry i hope you understood so as i said in the previous case the previous slide 
the problems can be attained. I mean, the problems can be. I mean, any engineering problems can be solved with uh, many uh, multiple solutions are there already. Many solutions already exist, but biomimicry is one way of solving it. I mean, and uh, one interesting pattern in uh, biomimicry is most probably the solution which has been offered by biomimicry by mimicking the nature by mimicking the nature you know the solution will be very simple because it's a nature inspired it's god uh, given solution apo what i am saying is there are solutions uh, there are problems in the society our problems ne already many solutions are there engineering applications are there but in the last 20 years they have started to look into the nature to find some nature inspired solution to solve the problem and why they are uh, using this particular technique because uh, nature has created lot of adventurous as well as simple solutions actually so that we can uh, easily solve the many engineering applications just like that look at this this particular slide shows you idu ipo nan ipo explain cheyadallo adinda karyam aanu this is a problem actually shoe vittittu uh, look at this having a loose shoe laces namak ipo shoe le lace loose aayita irukkanadu how will you solve this particular problem i mean this is a simple problem actually right as i said this some problems are easier this is a simple problem this simple problem can be achieved by by two ways one you can uh, take off your shoes and walk that is a easy solution or else you can tie your solution i mean uh, tie your uh, shoe laces and then walk this is also one solution so as i said in the previous example all the problems may not be very simple to use a simple solution some problems may be complicated right say for example you are walking in a desert and as you know desert may not be having any uh, proper water facilities and all so uh, i mean how do i mean just for a day's walk can you imagine uh, you know actually uh, putting a, um, a huge uh, you know actually water lanes or water pipes to provide <coughs> to provide water facilities for a person who is walking in the desert it's not a feasible solution right this is not a feasible solution so instead what we can do is we can check out the uh, nature whether it is providing any solution for this particular uh, hard problem or not so while evaluating the animals while uh, you know actually while exp i mean uh, while going through the uh, the list of animals which have survived successfully in the desert so we can clearly see that the camels have survived longer than any other animals in the desert actually so how do they survive while they are in the middle of the desert this is how they drink lot of water whenever they uh, actually come across any river or uh, any oasis or something like that they carry the water in their humps right uh, as a backpack or something like that right so the thing is what are we i mean what is the inspiration that we what is the inspiration that we get from this uh, actually camel's behavior one thing is even the backpack which you are using for carrying the laptop right the backpack has been designed by looking at this behavior only the way how uh, this you know this is stores the water at the back and it travels a uh, long distance in the uh, the desert and all this behavior they use it for designing the laptop backpack even the next slide uh, let me go the, this one they have designed a water back water backpack just like uh, you know actually uh, they found it in the camel's back actually look at this particular tube any time they can have an access any time you don't have to uh, you know actually reach for the water bag but this is a water pipe simply you can uh, drink the water as you go as you move on so this particular design is also inspired by the uh, nature so this is a classical example of biomimicry as i said it's a very exciting field i told you this particular class will open up your mind actually how you are looking into the problems that will change forever and um, so this biomimicry will imitate the nature to create sustainable solutions for any engineering problems even a human problems it will not 
but uh, engineering problems will Korea normal applications will come okay le? and uh, as I said earlier implementing a biomimic biomimic solution will have least damage in the environment as well as implementation will be somewhat simple okay le? but observing the pattern and making it to work into an algorithm or else a solution that uh, that you know actually that for that particular thing you have to actually get the best out of you then only you can uh, absorb these things so tiny tiny things then that then only you can make it as a model right so as i said in the previous slide nowadays you know lot of professions are working in this particular area they are doing lot of research actually in this particular area and they are creating lot of designs even the business model also they are creating like that and the engineers also engineers are also finding a lot of solutions out of this one even my phd topic which i did in uh, iit kanpur you know actually i used an algorithm i developed an algorithm that was uh, nature inspired nature inspired right so i proposed an algorithm to detect an, uh, to detect the presence of a cancerous tissue but that algorithm was nature inspired okay look at this so this has been invented very recently actually it was invented by janine m benius m benius benius and she was the first one to term this concept as biomimicry and uh, she says like this doing it nature's way has the potential to change the way we grow food make materials harness energy heal ourselves store information and conduct business that means what motta adangillo nammalda motta idana science um technology what she is saying like a nature inspired way of uh, doing the things uh, has a lot of potential to uh, implement uh, the uh, science and technology stuff in the future this is what she has predicted actually and uh, that's how it is going in the uh, in the present research field as well most of the present day solutions are coming through nature inspired nature inspiration only you must have heard about the sonar technique as well as the radar technologies that are being uh, presently used in military applications as well as a navigation purposes and all right so uh, radar so can you know here radar uh, what is it uh, uh, sonar techniques actually is sonar techniques as well as radar techniques uh, it has been immensely used in military applications actually right so how they have been uh, invented they have been invented by using this biomimic technique only they use the echolation technique echolation technique that has been frequently uh, i mean that has been popularly seen in bats as well as the dolphins they use the same echolation technique to develop the sonar as well as radar technique so one great example of biomimicry next one is the adipoli example in japan sometime before they introduced the actually bullet train the speed train actually what i mean while they developed this particular design they found a huge problem whenever this particular train uh, you know approaches a, a tunnel they faced some peculiar kind of sound actually they they faced this as a huge problem because the the, the passengers could not be able to bear that sound that whistling sound inside by by, by being seated inside the particular train see so what they did is they uh, observed you know actually kingfishers beak they observed the king uh, uh, kingfisher birds beak and observed this particular shape actually and uh, they uh, you know they got inspired by this particular model uh, of the beak of the kingfisher and you know they just mimicked it they just mimicked it for the train and thereby uh, they solved the particular problem uh, you know actually japanese are the best in uh, creating uh, the actual future technologies so even they are mimicking the nature in 2008 olympics a famous problem happened actually because uh, one particular team from us uh, one team one team from us they wore a swimsuit which was bio i mean which was prepared by mimicking the skin texture of a shark actually shark and uh, shark and the skin texture on the law skin texture 
based on the uh, sh uh, shark's skin texture they prepared a swimsuit and uh, the world i mean it, it world, i mean the entire world who was witnessing the 2008 olympics were astonished by seeing that but later on the olympics uh, you know actually the council they decided to ban the particular dress but it i mean it created a lot of ripples the reason is this particular dress became immensely popular though i mean on those times they called it as fast skin this helped to uh, quickly uh, actually push the uh, um, uh, the swimmers actually because it reduces the drag it reduces the resistance between you as well as the uh, the, the the water right but later on they banned it actually i don't know why uh, now whether they are i mean whether that this particular kind of dress is under use or not i am not very sure about it but uh, this particular skin texture was inspired by in the nature by the scientists especially they, uh, they they got inspired by uh, actually looking into the skin texture of the shark one more uh, important invention this is very popular invention you must have heard about velcro and all in our daily life this plays a huge role nowadays shoes lum kore kaarangal nammal idu nokkarundu like purse lum velcro nammal nokkarundu ashe have you ever uh, uh, known when do you know that this particular thing was uh invented by a swiss engineer and this particular swiss engineer was helped by his dog because while he was walking in the woods uh, he found lot of birds idu malayalathil endha peru nariyilla pashe ningal actually kandirkam koraya engana undavum while you are walking in the woods you can uh, you see this in english they call it as birds actually so <coughs> he birds you know it got attracted in the dog's coat ഡാഗിൻ്റെ മോളിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ കുറേ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒട്ടിയിരുന്നായിരുന്നു സോ ഐ മീൻ ഹി 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 ഗാട്ട് ഇൻസ്പയർഡ് ബൈ ദാറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ഹി ഹി നോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഡാക്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഫർ ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ഡാക്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഫർ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡാക്സ് ഫർ ഓൺലി ദിസ് തിങ് ഗാട്ട് അട്രാക്റ്റഡ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ഹി കേം അപ്പ് വിത്ത് ആക്ച്വലി പോപ്പുലർ സൊല്യൂഷൻ കോൾഡ് ഹൂ ക്യാൻ ലൂപ്പ് ഫാസ്നർ ഹൂ ക്യാൻ ലൂപ്പ് ഫാസ്നർ ലേറ്റർ ഹി ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഹിസ് ഓൺ കമ്പനി കാൾഡ് വെൽക്രോ അതാണ് നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് e uh, velcro it has been immensely extensively used by nasa's space program as well so naturally the question comes who can use the biomimicry as i explained explained in the previous slides and all literally anyone any scientists or any engineers in their uh, own field they can be get, they can get some inspir inspiring um, solutions inspirational solutions from the nature uh, so what i advise you is like uh, in case if you are stuck up with an uh, engineering solution in your uh, um, project or uh, tomorrow you will be working in a group right so when, whenever you are getting stuck in a, in a in a complex solution i advise you to look on look around your nature and uh, i advise you to closely look around your nature and you may end up with finding a, finding an algorithm or else a solution uh, which will be nature inspired so that can uh, actually pull up the attention of the entire market as well who knows right അപ്പോൾ ഇതിലിരുന്ന് നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നത് നമ്മളുടെ നേച്ചർ ഹാസ് ഇൻവെൻറ്റഡ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ബെസ്റ്റ് വേസ് ഫോർ സെവറൽ കോംപ്ലക്സ് പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ആക്ച്വലി അടിപൊളിയായിട്ടുള്ള സൊല്യൂഷൻസുകൾ നമ്മളുടെ നേച്ചറിലുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ വാട്ട് അവർ ജോബ് ഇസ് ടു ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ദോസ് ആർ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദോസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഫിറ്റ് യുവർ പ്രോബ്ലം ഫിറ്റ് യുവർ പ്രോബ്ലം so that you can establish uh, you know those nature inspired works on the engineering applications so three important things that you have to keep it in mind are the plants and animals have always uh, found some amazing ways uh, to your engineering problems so they can live and thrive for i mean for the problems which they face okay le ab plants um animals um they always do the survival of fittest technique survival for fittest uh, they live by this way actually survival by fittest so when they find a solution very sure most of the solution their solutions for their survival can fit your engineering problems as well so scientists today you know actually they thrive by finding um, solutions for the problems especially sustainable solutions they are very much interested in because we need to protect our environment as well so scientists they look around the nature the lives of the plants as well as animals that is a spelling mistake here uh, animals as well i mean the way how the animals as well as uh, the plants live by they pick the best solution 
and uh, you know actually they call it a sustainable solution as well right so even the scientists should do it one more thing is you know uh, the entertainment industries like uh, visual or else performance or even the literary artists they are also carried over by the amazing capabilities as well as abilities of the surviving techniques of plants as well as animals right so they get inspired by uh, their work and uh, they you know actually they create their uh, i mean they they find a way to produce their creative work by by getting inspired from the nature so thank you very much